Hey everyone, Greg from Outdoor Goyo here. We're gonna be talking about the Yakima High Road bike rack. Let's get into it. This is the Yakima High Road bike mount. It goes on the roof of your car. You have to have a rack already installed, so you need crossbars, and it fits just about any crossbar on the market. So very, very easy to install. Now let's roll through the features of the Yakima High Road bike rack. It is a single bike rack. It holds one bike as you see it here. It has a locking mechanism for the front wheel. You don't have to take the front wheel off like some other bike racks. You can throw it right in here. It has a torque wrenching lock here so you know when it's tight which is really nice safety feature and then in the back it has a ratchet strap for the back wheel uh, other features about 24 pounds which uh, is relatively light um, you can put two of these on your car with two bikes and it will not exceed most manufacturer crossbars the Yakima High Road is priced at $250, which is pretty middle of the range ballpark for all other bike racks. You're pretty much, no matter if you're gonna get one on the hitch, a double rack or a single, you're gonna pay about $200 to $300 per bike. So this is right in the middle there. This bike rack fits 26 inches to 29 inch tires. So just about any mountain bike these days and road bike. Your road bikes anywhere from 23 millimeters, which is pretty standard, to four inch 29ers. So that's totally fat bike ready if you wanna just throw it on there and get ready to go. There's also a lock core on the back end so that you can pull this out and this cable can be wrapped around your bicycle wheel and locked. I wouldn't trust that. Um, Anybody can have some bolt cutters and, and cut that, but it is a easy preventative for the, the unthrifty thief, if you will. Who is this bike rack for? Well, it's not for me, and I thought it would have been. I'm six foot two. This is currently on a Subaru Forester, which is a little bit lower than my old Forerunner. However, it is still too tall and I am six foot two. So I thought that it would be okay. But if you are a smaller person, if you have some back problems <laughs> or don't want to have back problems, <laughs> this is quite a beast to put up on the car, especially for a full suspension mountain bike that weighs over 30 pounds. It is quite difficult to get on and off. And I will say that. This rack is for the person with a shorter car and maybe not too heavy of a bike. Who this is not for? This is not for anybody with a smaller bike than 26 inches. So sorry kids, your bike won't fit on this rack. This rack is not for anyone who is shorter and has a really heavy bike or a tall car. Other than that, this rack is awesome. All right, we're on the front side of the bike now. You can see how this is installed onto the racks. This is the front wheel. This latch pulls forward, right? Now you can see the guts of this. This hinge comes up, and this is where you tension or loosen the rubber strap that's going around. You can see the rubber strap. It's going around the whole thing, right? So. I have it at the appropriate tension that I want. You put these little knobs in their slot, cinch it down really good, and then this is the lock to remain in place. Now you do that on either side, and then there's one of these on the back side as well. Same premise, pull this out, you have your lever, tighten that down, and then you're able to lock from this cylinder here. However, those locks are not included with the rack. You have to buy them separately. All right, let's go over the pros of the rack. Quality build, they really nailed it. If you're getting a roof rack, this thing is awesome. And it holds the bike securely. With this torque ratchet on the front, I know when it starts popping, I know that the bike is secure, so that's great. 
the bike may wobble a little bit. You'll see it on the road or if you take tight turns, but that is natural for all of these roof rack bikes. It seems kind of scary at first, but just know it's in there. If you did the installation right, your crossbars are on right, you ratcheted this down and you got that back wheel strap on there, it's not going anywhere. One of the best things about these types of racks is you don't have to take off your front tire to put it on there. And with some other bike racks, you'll see that the ratchet goes all the way up to the frame, which this is a no frame contact bike rack, which is great, especially if you have those carbon frames and you don't want anything touching it. Now the last pro is that it's really easy to install. You don't need any tools. It's a strap ratchet system that's really easy to lock in. Um, it was effortless, it doesn't weigh too much, and one person can do the job by themselves. All right, let's go through the cons. So some of the bad things about this bike rack is just roof racks in general. I had never had one before. I'd always had them on the hitch, which was super easy. And I'm actually going back to the hitch and I'm putting a Thule cargo box on top of this. So be sure to check out that video when we put it out. But I will say that make sure you know what you're getting into with a roof rack, with the height of your car, the size of your bike, and what you're willing to deal with as far as a backbreaker, getting it on top of the car. Another thing that broke the deal for me was that it's really too short of a rack for the longer geometry mountain bikes that are coming out this, these days. I think Yakima needs a little bit of a refresh and just lengthen that pole a little bit at the end so that that ratchet strap is perfectly aligned with the back wheel. And then another bummer is that the lock cores are not included with the package, which would be really nice to just buy a $250 rack and have these tiny little lock cores already ready to go. Seems like a lot of other manufacturers have nailed that and they've got it and Yakima wants you to just add on another part, which doesn't really make sense to me. All right, y'all, so in summary, this is an awesome roof rack. If you're looking for a roof rack and you kind of fit all of the qualifications that I mentioned before, then get the Yakima High Road. It is a really good buy, sturdy construction. It's gonna do you right. However, if you listen to this video, you know the roof rack is not right for you, then check out things like the One Up. I've had my One Up for years and I even bought it used. Those things hold their value. They're really well made. If you need a hitch, get one of those one-ups. Anyways, that's it for now. Outdoor Goyo, out.